Hello, this is Todd Butterfield, WyckoffSMI.com. Today's video is Wyckoff Trading Method Talks number two, Trends. This video will be discussing trends and showing examples of trend lines on various charts. Mr. Robert Evans used the old carpenter's philosophy of measure twice and saw once. This piece of philosophy is especially true of trend lines. We have seen trend lines drawn carelessly and without an understanding of what they are good for. It is not good to saw and then find out your measurements were wrong. We want to discuss some examples of trend lines now. First example is that of Caterpillar, CAT. This chart is a longer term chart of Caterpillar covering 18 months. Through normal use of trend lines, we place support line AA at the two appropriate points of support. We then placed overbought line BB parallel using the high of the rally between the two support points. We now have the longer term uptrend channel in place. You can see as we approach the overbought line in the last four months, Caterpillar was finding it harder and harder to continue its advance. It was showing some weakness in its inability to reach the upper end of the trend channel with any ease. It then continued trading sideways as it was approaching the support line AA. This type of action is also explained in Evans Echo's number one, The Shell Hunter's Tragedy, which we will go over in more detail in another future video. But the stock is showing weakness with its inability to rally to the top of the uptrend channel. It then will be important how it respects the support line AA in the weeks immediately ahead. As we record this video, Caterpillar is trading at $91.26, which puts it just below the support line. Second chart example we wish to discuss is that of Microsoft, MSFT. I have a three year chart in front of us. You can see we first have an accumulation area shown by support and resistance lines AA and BB. From this accumulation area, we start a long term advance that is shown by support line DD and overbought line CC. These lines are drawn by normal use of trend lines. First, support line DD is drawn through the two support points. And then line CC is drawn parallel using the resistance point between the two support points of line DD. We also show lines EE and FF, which are drawn using reverse use of trend lines. Line EE is drawn through two resistance points and line FF is drawn parallel. Now we change the vertical line chart to the point and figure chart to see what the upside counts are. The same trend lines from the vertical chart are now on the point and figure chart. We talked about the accumulation area between AA and BB. This was the first area to take a figure count. Then also there's a stepping stone count that confirms it during the advance. The chart shows these two upside figure counts. The first count has a stock with an upside count objective of 70 to $72. And the stepping stone count is also shown and it has an upside objective of $70 as well. As you can see, the stock has reached $66 at the top of the uptrend and holding its gains. It would appear that after some possible backing and filling, it could reach its upside objectives on the next push higher. The last example is that of Amazon, AMZN. The first chart is a vertical line chart, so you can see the volume associated with the accumulation phase and where we can label the sign of strength and a back up to the creek. This will give us our upside objectives from the point and figure chart. You can see that we had a year long trading range and then a rally above resistance on strong volume marked by the numerous green lines at the bottom on the colored volume area. Then we had a low volume pullback to the creek that had just been jumped. From there, we can bring up our point and figure chart, which is a three point reversal to calculate the upside figure counts. Doing this gives us a maximum upside objective of $787. We have now placed the various trend lines on the way to the upside objective. All trend lines are drawn with the normal use of trend lines. The first uptrend is that defined by AA and BB. Once this rally broke its uptrend stride, we define the downtrend as EEFF. The stock still had higher objectives, so this downtrend was short and sweet. As supply line EE was broken to the upside, 
it was inappropriate to place another uptrend channel with CCDD. This once again was done by placing support line DD at the two support points marked on the chart. This deep uptrend channel was broken as the stock rallied, showing it could not keep up this level of advance. You can see that after we reached our upside objectives, Amazon had a quick brief rally up to the $847 level, which appears to be the buying climax. From there, the stock had a quick sharp reaction to $710, and then another rally back to the previous buying climax level for a test. These two points probably will define the trading range for Amazon. It will be interesting to see how Amazon trades in the weeks ahead. Could it experience major distribution or just another reaccumulation area and another strong rally to still higher levels? On a final note, you can see we also marked the thrust on the chart as shown at I, J, and K. Another reason to expect sideways action at best here. We hope you found this video educational and entertaining. We will be back with another Wyckoff Trading Method Talks number three in the near future. Thank you.